In today's modern age, batteries make up the lifeblood of most of our electronic devices. Everything from phones, to cars, to cameras, to drones. And while technology has advanced faster than we could imagine, the batteries powering them have not changed much at all within the last few decades. At the heart of a battery is the galvanic cell, a set of two metals and two metal iron solutions connected together that allow the transfer of electrons. The simplest example uses zinc and copper to produce energy. The two are connected by wires and a salt bridge. The wires transfer the electrons and the salt bridge keeps the electric charge of each half cell in balance. In this example, zinc gives up two electrons to copper. This means the zinc turns into zinc 2 plus and dissolves and the dissolved copper 2 plus turns into metal copper. By doing this, however, the zinc side becomes more positive and the copper side more negative. This is where the salt bridge comes in. The salt bridge transfers negative sulfate ions from the copper side to the zinc side, maintaining balance. And thus, the galvanic cell is able to complete its full cycle. Stick an LED light bulb in the wires and you have an electric circuit. In an alkaline battery, the components are arranged in a series of cylinders, in the center, the current pickup rod. And lithium ion batteries can be fed electricity to reverse the reaction. In all, the chemistry of the battery has not strayed far from this idea, and significant improvements have yet to be made. If batteries are to keep up with modern electronics, a new breakthrough in battery technology is needed.